Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today I'm going to be looking at my top 5 favourite pieces from the recent Golf Lafleur Spring Summer Collection. So if you guys didn't know or have just tuning in for the first time, Golf Lafleur did a recent Spring Summer Collection. Uh, I've covered it in multiple videos by now. Uh, I was a big fan of the collection, loved a lot of pieces from it, but just like I did with the Anti-Social Social Club Collection, I'm going to give you guys a top 5 of my favourite pieces from this collection. Now, unfortunately, I didn't actually manage to cop any of the pieces that I put in this top five list. But, regardless, if they came up in an opportunity where I could buy them, I would probably end up picking them up. So, we'll start off by talking about item number five. And I wonder if you guys can think about, you know, if you've watched my previous videos, what item number five is going to be. So, at number five, we've got the... Golf Lafleur black chinos. So um, I was actually really keen on the chinos. I was kind of leaning towards the brown ones in previous videos, but now that I thought about it, I actually quite like the black ones. Uh, unfortunately, all the sizes sold out, so I have missed out on it. But if I lost a little bit of weight, you know, you know, worked out a little bit, did a little bit of running, I could possibly fit into the biggest size that they have, which is the 36. Maybe it might come up on Grailed. Maybe they might have it for sale. Who knows? Either way, absolutely love this piece. The simple golf Lafleur on the right leg makes it really, really awesome. Uh, the fit looks really, really nice. And that's a big thing about any piece that I really like to buy. I like to see how it actually fits on a person. Um, that's a lot of things that a lot of people don't put into consideration when they're buying a lot of pieces. It's generally what the artwork is or what the color is, but you really got to consider the fit. That's probably one of the top three things you really got to think about when buying something. So for number five, it is the Golf Lafleur Black Chinos. Now at number four, we've got the Cherub Tee with the little graphic on the front with two baby heads with, I think it's butterfly wings, and it says Children of Golf underneath. So at number four, that is it. It is the Cherub Tea. I absolutely love this tea. It's very simple, very nice. It is still in stock in my size. So if I do want to pick it up, I can pick it up without having to pay resale. And that's what I actually quite like about the Golf Collection. It isn't super limited where every piece is going to sell out. But at the same time, some of the pieces that I like aren't also the pieces that were most sought after. So I can understand why they still have them in stock. Either way, super, super nice. Um, I want it in white. I mean... Of course, Daniel wants a, a white tea, you know, uh, that's a classic, but yeah, I, I like my white teas, guys. There's nothing wrong with liking a few white teas. So, for number four, it is going to be the Cherub Tea in white. Now, at number three, we're now in the top three, guys. Can you guess what my top three item is from this collection? Surprisingly, it's another tea. I mean, honestly, I'm not a huge tea guy. I'm not hugely into buying teas with into graphics and stuff on them. It's not really my thing. But, number three is... The Mother Earth tea. So I really thought this graphic was really cool. It had a really cool political statement behind it. I kind of like about this... Uh, that's what I kind of like about this Spring Summer Collection. It has some political messages surrounding some of its artwork. I think that's really, really cool. It's really, really subtle. As uh, Vet Mont always critiques about it, the young people of today are always wearing a lot of political statements on their shirts. I think it's cool. I honestly think more people should do it. But back to this tea. The Mother Earth tea has a graphic that says, In Loving Memory of our beloved Mother Earth with a stylized graphic eye in the center and the eye instead of act an actual eye is Mother is Earth or Mother Earth in this case crying. I think that's really really sweet. It's a really really sad tea but it's also a very nice tea. It's very well done. Whoever designed it honestly props to you. It looks amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, I'll just check to see if it's in stock. No, it completely sold out. Not surprising. I really like the design on this shirt, honestly. Um, but yeah, if I could pick this one up, I definitely would. And I've placed it at number three in my top five items that I would want. <sighs> number two. What's number two on my top five items that I absolutely love from this collection and I would 100% buy? It's going to be the Tombstone Crew Neck. I talked about it in the actual unveiling of the lookbook, but I could not find it when I had looked at the lookbook on the Golf Flow website in that massive video that I did that was like 40 something minutes. Oh God, it took so long to edit that video, but worth it. Absolutely love doing that video. So much fun. Again, I couldn't find this crew neck, but it's for sale now on the store. Um, when I was looking a couple days ago, it was still available, but now unfortunately it has sold out. So I've missed out on my opportunity. Uh, the graphic on the front of it says, here lies mother earth. It is a tombstone with a picture of earth on it. 
kind of grim again a political message really sad but provocative and good i like it makes you think about it you're like oh damn mother earth's gonna die in the next 10 to 20 years if we don't do something about it that's what i love about it political statement on a shirt good way to handle it well in this case on a sweater but yeah i absolutely love this one it comes in white or black um i think the graphic stands out more on the white so i think i'd go with the white crew neck but yeah i honestly really love this crew neck and i have placed it at number two but now last but not least can you guys guess what number one is and at number one drum roll please we've got the golf lafleur utility vest cream not green Ugh. screw getting green bro no thanks anyway the cream vest absolutely love this piece i love that each pocket is a different color but is also still a pastel color so it doesn't stand out too much but it also works very well with the overall color of the vest uh i don't actually own any tactical vests i'd love to stylize them with whatever i have um there was one i know this is super hype beast to say there was an off-white tactical vest a while ago where um the straps that it had were the um made from off-white belts oh my god so amazing but so 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 expensive so i don't think i'll pick that one up anytime soon this one however at 100 usd is a little bit more palatable although 100 usd is still quite a bit for a piece of clothing uh i honestly really love this piece i would love to chuck it over the top of like a crew neck a white crew neck or a white hoodie i think it really works with really light colors so chucking it over the top of white or cream like colored garments is going to look really really nice uh on the back of the garment or, or on the back of the utility vest it does have i'll just bring it up now yep it does have an extra pocket on the back with golf lafleur written on it i think it is yep Golf Lafleur, sorry, it's super hard to see. The Golf Lafleur is in white and it's on top of the cream. I really love it. Awesome idea. I would love to actually buy one in the end. Unfortunately, it's sold out like that, so it's all gone now. But I'm still placing it at number one. This is definitely my favorite piece from the collection. Uh, it would have changed, honestly. This whole top five would have changed if the Lacoste items dropped in this collection. But I will be doing a top five video on that. So I'll cover that as well. But... At number one for the spring summer collection only, it's going to be this utility vest, guys. Absolutely love this piece. Maybe one day I'll pick it up, but it's really, really cool. I love that it was done. Number one, guys. All right, I want to hear your thoughts, guys. What was your top five for the Golf Lafleur spring summer collection? Was it the same as me? Was it different? Let me know in that comment section below, guys. I want to hear your opinions on it as well, but that was my top five for the Golf Lafleur spring summer collection, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now before I send you all off, don't forget in the link below, there is a bunch of socials that will keep you up to date with all the videos that I'll be posting. Uh, the Facebook page has almost reached 150 likes, so I mean, if you want to help a brother out and get to that 150, links in description below guys. And in all honesty, the Facebook page is the best way to keep up to date with everything that I post. I post it all there, it's like a central hub. Best way to go about it is the Facebook page below. And of course, fellas, I wouldn't do it. I'd send you off properly. Until next time, I'll catch you later.